Has your love affair with your church hit a roadblock? Should you start seeing other churches? Will you love your church again, or will you leave it? The preaching really could be more open concept. I mean, I need to be entertained. I would really love a men's fellowship group. The worship needs to be updated. The music is really not what I like. The drums are too loud, and the bass just plays the same note over and over. You know, we've been here for about a year now, and there's just not that many friendly people. I mean, there was that new couple, and nobody welcomed them or us. Plus, everyone here is a hypocrite. All they do is complain. The preaching is just way too long. The guy's got to have some lunch. I personally would really like it if they'd use the organ some more. There's this guy who sits behind us and he sings everything flat and about a beat behind and I just can't take it anymore. Simon and Megan will have to decide. Can they love their church again or will they leave it? Their must-haves are a new preacher, a men's fellowship, a new worship team, quieter drums, a friendlier congregation, more organ playing, no that guy, and no hypocrisy. Wedging themselves into this debate, David and Hillary will offer their expertise and hope to help this family move forward. This church is right in their neighborhood, and you know, the grass is a lot greener. So you uh, met a few people and you learned a few names. Yeah, but Dave, I'm, I'm way too shy and a bit too busy for that. I mean, the music in there was perfect. Mm. That's just what we need. Until that little girl got up and played the piano. Oh my gosh. Right? I mean, I can play the piano better than she can. Simon! Sorry. We both can play the piano better than she can. Exactly. Back at the church, Hillary has an unforeseen surprise. So I have some bad news. There we go. We actually tried to move that guy, uh, but this is actually Gladys's seat. Yes, I told her that was my seat. I've been paying for it for 75 years. If Hillary can't give us what we want, I just can't see us staying here. Yeah, I really hope David can find us what we need. Uh, I don't know, David. There's nobody our age there. What about that guy? Fair enough, but there's still only one. <laughs> yeah, but then there's three of you. <laughs> they head back to their church, where Hillary is waiting for them. I have some good news and I have some bad news. What's the good news? Well, the good news is we have managed to teach the bass player a new note. Okay. Okay. The bad news is we can't hire an organist because it's not all about you. Oh, it's just one thing after another with Hillary. First, that guy. Mm. And then worship isn't all about us. What's that it's about? Just a new church is starting to look better and better. Yeah. Like, now, you can't tell me that that place wasn't welcoming and friendly. Yeah. Well, it was. But maybe a little bit too friendly? <laughs> <laughs> no, David was right. The grass definitely was greener. Just think how great that grass would be for Kenzie. So green. David has shown them new churches and steeples. But will it compete? while Hillary's struggling to change all the people. Simon and Megan arrive to find out. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 I'm out of it. It's so, oh, 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 it's so beautiful. So we couldn't move that guy. And we couldn't change the preaching. But what we have done is we've moved you to uh, this new seat closer to the back next to the door. So not only do you not have to meet or talk to that guy, but if the sermon goes long and you feel uh, God has nothing else to say to you, you can leave. What? I, I love it. Wow. <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. Don't you love it? 
I do, it's, it's really good. I wouldn't have thought to do it myself though. Like, wow, she's done a great job. Despite some difficulties, Hillary was able to muffle the worship team and find a seating solution that will work for this family. The church has said, you can run men's fellowship. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm busy that night. But I haven't told you when they did No, this. I'm busy like, every night. That last one was great, mm -hmm. but the grass was almost too green. Uh, Meg, the metaphor doesn't work that way. So, I think we've made our decision? Yeah, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. I think you're thinking what I'm thinking. Okay, I think thinking? we're ready. I think we're thinking the same thing, thinking. <laughs> okay, it's time. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to leave it? We're, we're going, going to... New from SA Trade, it's General Guess Who, with most of the generals you know and love. It's the board game that's fun and educational for the whole family. Does your general have glasses? No. Is your general a man? Yes. Does your general look like Robin Williams? You've got to be kidding me. Is your general in a high collar? Is your general wearing a hat? It's General Guess Who, new from SA Trade. We're going to... Oh, uh, in the end, we just decided to stay home. We're pretty busy, and uh, it's just, I, th I think God would be okay with us just having some family time, so we just decided not to go to church at all in the end, really. Okay, it's time. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to leave it? Okay. Am I still singing? Yeah, you're singing. But you're getting the gas. Peace upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Ha <laughs> <laughs>